convolution integral or impulse response representation of LTI system. In signal processing, a very general way of representing an LTI system mapping from an input signal to an output signal is through convolution of the input with a system impulse response. Convolution integral is given by where u of t is the input signal, h of t is the impulse response of a linear time invariant system, y of t is the output. This expression shows that if we have the impulse response of a linear time invariant system, then we can find the output for any of the input signal by convolving the input signal with the impulse response. Let's take an example. U of t is the input signal and h of t is the impulse response of a linear time invariant system. We are interested in finding the output of this linear time invariant system by the convolution integral. Step number one is to replace the time t by a dummy variable tau. Step number two is to flip the impulse response and advance it. Step number three is to slide this flipped version of impulse response from minus infinity to infinity. This number one for time t less than zero you can see that there is no overlapping so output would be zero for time t less than zero by plotting we have a straight line along the time axis for time t less than zero case number two for time from zero to one you can see the overlapped area we can write the equation for this overlapped area by using slope intercept form here the slope is 1 and intercept is 0. So the equation for the overlapped area is equal to tau. Now using the convolution integral and integrate it and apply the limits. We have y of t is equals to half t square for time from 0 to 1. This is the plot of y of t from time 0 to 1. Case number 3 for time from 1 to 2 you can see the overlap area. We can write the equation for this overlap area using slope intercept form. Here again the slope is 1 and intercept is 0 and the equation for the overlap area is equal to tau using the convolution integral integrate it and apply the limits we have the output y of t is equals to minus half t square plus t for time from 1 to 2 by plotting we have case number 4 for time t greater than 2 as there is no overlapping so y of t is equals to 0 for time t greater than 2 by plotting we have the output y of t is a straight line along the time axis for time t greater than 2 these are the final results where u of t is the input signal h of t is the impulse response of a linear time invariant system and y of t is output.